seen to answer the question that matters most. You've got to start with the customer experience and work back towards the technology, not the other way around. Steve Jobs, May, May 25, 1997, Worldwide Developers Conference. In May 1998, Apple launched a splashy new product aimed at shoring up its dwindling share of the custom computer market, which had sunk to under 4%. When Jobs unveiled the new translucent iMac, he described the reason for building the computer, the target market, and the benefit customers would see from buying the new system. Even though this is a full-blown Macintosh, we are targeting this for the number one use consumers tell us they want a computer for, which is to get on the internet simply and fast. We're also targeting this for education. They want to buy this. It's perfect for most of the things they do uh, in instruction. We went out and looked at all of the computer products out there. We noticed some things about them pretty much universally. The first is they are very slow. They're all using last year's processors. Secondly, they all have pretty crummy displays on them, likely no networking on them, all generation 1.0 devices. And what that means is they are lower performance and harder to use. And these things are ugly. So let me tell you about iMac. After describing the weaknesses of current products in the prece preceding excerpts, Jobs drew a verbal roadmap for his audience, listing the features he would explain in more detail. Learn more about drawing a roadmap in scene 5. The audience learned that the new iMac was fast, it screams, and that it had a gorgeous 15-inch display, a large amount of built-in memory and components that would make accessing a network easier for students and home users. In one of these typical surprise moments, Jobs then walked to the center of the stage and pulled the cover of the new computer. Your audience wants to be informed, educated and entertained, informed about your products, educated on how it works and entertained while learning about it. Above all, people want to know the answer to one question. Why should I care? Let's take a closer look at the, that iMac excerpt. Jobs told the audience what that means is. Jobs connects the dots for his listeners. Although he might leave the industry in the dark about future Apple releases, he never leaves his audience guessing when the product is finally introduced. Why should you care about Apple's new computer, MP3 player, phone or gadget? Don't worry, Jobs will tell you.